Hello, hello, and welcome to Misadventure, That Adventure, a place where your stories are recreated, told, and shared to the world. And I am your host, Len Rosen. We have a very special episode for you all today. This episode will be the first one that will feature a live interview and storytelling by the actual people who experienced it. We want to make this kind of episode a frequent staple of the program now and again in order to provide another dimension to hearing the stories provided by you, our listeners. However, again, I want to remind everyone that this sequence is completely open to feedback. Do you think it's too long of a segment? Too short? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you want this segment featured more often or less often? Whatever you want to suggest and comment about it, please feel free to let us know via our website. On the program today, we have Sean Hardesty. Coming onto the program today, we have Sean Hardesty. Sean, welcome to the program. Why don't we start, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Basically, back in 2006, I started internet radio. Hmm. And all the way up until now. And during the process along the line, that's when I had learned about becoming a travel agent. Cool. So I've always had a love and passion of radio, podcasts. I've had a passion for all that stuff and always wanted to be on the radio growing up from one minute to the next, even talking on my birthday on the radio when I was growing up. That's what sparked my love for the radio and love for the broadcast industry. So basically about myself, I also love playing video games on the side when I'm not on the radio and I love Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty. Oh, I, oh yeah, that's a classic. And still incredibly as popular as ever. I, yeah. I got to say, I'm a little bit of an old fogey here. I'm still into the stealth games of yesteryear. Uh, when I get a chance to play, which is absolutely... These days, no, no, never get time to play. Um, I... When I did, I was always into the stealth games of yesteryear, like Thief the Dark Project and... Uh, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, oh, Elder Scrolls 3, that was. Love that one. I love that one. I love those first person. I, I just can't get into these, uh, you know, platform player ones where you're just slashing at everything that comes oh, from yeah. Owen Center. I'm, Super Mario 64. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't, I just, I don't know. Those ones make me dizzy, but I just really love getting into the ones where you actually feel like you're in the world. Like, that's what Thief was to me. That was, oh, yeah. man. Thief 1, 2, and 3. Love them all. Yeah. So, Sean, I know you mentioned you have two mini stories to share with us. So, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so we was traveling home from Conroe, Texas, here in the United States here. And basically, as we was traveling back to Abilene, we heard this, it sounded like somebody put on their brakes, like, thump and smacked dead into our window and we heard loud as day it's like someone put on their brakes midair and just dumped right into the window so we asked each other what the world was that and uh, <laughs> come to find out it was a bug that flew right into the window oh. <laughs> and another person had had it happen to them as well so we weren't the only ones that heard that it was uh, another person that was in front of us that did too hmm. Right through the windshield. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can only tell what that bug had in mind when he hit the windshield. I got, I got to tell you, that must have been quite a bug <laughs> to like make that much of an impact. Are we talking like the <laughs> the mega, mega, most mega of June bugs? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. You must have been going pretty fast too. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, his guts were smatter, smeared all over the windshield. Well, most important, watch yourself on the road, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> uh, we we were always afraid of deer back in my day, but I mean, wow. These uh, 
<laughs> the killer June bugs or whatever it was that smashed on your windshield. Glad you're all okay. Yeah. Uh, do have one more if you'd like to hear this. Yeah, go. What's your next one? We were going to Dallas Fort Worth with one of my friends. And you know, this gas station called Bucky's. If you're familiar with like truck stops and everything, it's kind of like a truck stop in a, in a grocery store out all at once. Uh, <laughs> I walked into inside that gas station, Bucky's, and uh, up in Dallas Fort Worth. They had so many bathroom stalls, I do not know which one to choose from. I was like, man, am I going to get lost in this if I choose the wrong stall or what? <laughs> so, so you have an endless, an endless <laughs> plethora of bathroom cubicles, an endless and and the, and the, and the, so, blah, 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 blah. I could have. I forgot to like kickstart this thing. <laughs> An endless supply <laughs> before you of bathroom stalls. Okay. Well, so, I got I got I I got the best <laughs> advice. Pick the clean one. <laughs> I mean, it was like you go down the road, and it's like, oh, sorry about that, sir. Didn't mean to walk in. We <laughs> common courtesy to flush after. Yeah, I could never figure out. I mean, it's such a triv. It's such a trivial thing. Flush the toilet. You see that little handlebar? <laughs> flush it. Like I can't tell you how many times I have come into stalls and just somebody dumped their load and they just leave it there. Like, oh, uh, like. I you know, I mean, you, you might, you might ask them, well, why didn't you flush the toilet? Well, that's not my job. No, to take your little pointy finger and flush the toilet. That's not your job. <laughs> yes, it is your job. <laughs> Be courteous. I mean, unbelievable, but, but people do it. People do it. They just leave that thing unflushed. I don't know what it is. Is it, uh, they forgot? Right. I don't think so. If it happens to overflow, they got plungers. So you could always find an employee and get a plunger if it overflows. <laughs> Cleanliness is the best thing. Like, I mean, it's, I, I, I mean, they are getting better. Like, I mean, I have seen a lot of these stalls with the um, antibacterial wipes, oh, yeah. like actually there. Mind you, there's never any left because people just go nuts on those things. I mean, you know, but um, I remember this this toilet and I can't remember where I was. I think, I don't even know where I was traveling, but it was this toilet that had a, the plastic covering over the seat. And when you pushed a button, uh, not the flush button, but there was a separate button, you'd push this separate button that was located near the seat and the plastic would literally replace itself. It would like be, and it would be oh, like yeah. this conveyor belt that goes off into nowhere and this new plastic piece would come out. Hope to God that it wasn't the same piece cycling over and over again, but I'm sure it wasn't, but it would just like replace itself. I thought that was pretty cool, but eh, still I'd like to use my own tissues, you know, I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a bit of a clean freak when it comes to these public bathrooms. And I think a lot of people can't blame me. I mean, they're. COVID pandemic that we had, they would use them all up big time. They, they are some of the most disgusting things you could lay your eyes on and, and your butt. <laughs> but I mean, it's, you know, I used to run off to these, you know, luxury office buildings to use a bathroom there. If it was a city that I wasn't familiar with, or I had to go and I wasn't near my hotel or anything, I'd just find the nearest luxury hotel or luxury office suite and look for a bathroom hoping you don't need a key to get in there. I was lucky, never did, but we're going off on a big tangent here, man, but I oh, yeah. thank you for that. <laughs> um so what are you up to nowadays? What what are you what are you doing nowadays? Actually building my travel agent business. So big shout out to Caden Gordon of the Caden Gordon show for telling me about you and having me come on tell my story and also my co-owner of my internet radio stations, Kevin Highland. Big shout out to him as well, and include my mom as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Sean, 
I want to thank you so much for coming on the program. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you got any more stories in the future, we'd love to have you back. And I wish you all the best and be safe and be healthy and have a good one. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to thank Sean Hardesty for coming on our program today. And I want to thank all of you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you again on the next one. And until then, good night or good day, but definitely God bless. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified when more videos will be uploaded to the channel. Also, please consider browsing around the channel to check out my other videos that were posted previously. In the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful and a blessed day. Please take care, stay safe, and talk to you all again soon.